How do you put your spouse as number one? How do you put them first? Is you just like support them in all their interests? Because we've gone to football games, baseball games, and Holly's just like. No, I'm not. I'm watching and just talking awful. To you. I can tell she just is in hell. Welcome back to the Band Podcast. I'm Holly. And I'm Brian. And what are we talking about, Brian? <gasps> Holly doesn't actually know. No, I don't. Today was a, a Brian request. I actually watched a reel the other day talking about, I think I sent it to you. Did I send it to you? Maybe. It was a reel. I sent her like a thousand days. She sent me a lot. <laughs> so <laughs> it was It was talking it's about- like Brian's love language is sending me reels. <laughs> because like they're funny. <laughs> but it was it was one about putting your spouse first. Did you get that one? Did I? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I, don't, I, I feel like I would have remembered like a uh, reel from you putting your spouse I first. Put, so, okay. So it was basically putting your spouse first, not necessarily above your kids, but before your kids. Okay. Not what that was the difference between above and before your kids. Meaning your relationship has, you have to have a good relationship with your wife if you want to have healthy kids. Mm-hmm. I mean, not necessarily. There's obviously people that can do it, but I feel like in my past, I've always felt like just because of my the way my parents, well, my mom always put her kids first. Mm-hmm. And so that's kind of what I learned is to put kids first. And so for a long time, I was constantly putting my kids first, right? Mm-hmm. You, you could say, no, not really, but... <laughs> That's fine. That's I wonder, fine. I'm wondering where this is going. <laughs> well, no, I just think I think it's important because I think as I've gotten older, I've learned that like when me and you haven't done so hot, you know, because I were I wasn't putting you first. Mm-hmm. It definitely affected our kids. Oh, yeah. Because I, I mean, not even that we would fight a lot, but I think when your kids see that your wife or your husband isn't your number one, if you don't respect your spouse, I think it can have a really big negative uh, impact on your kids. Why do you think it affects them negatively? Well, because it did me it did growing, you, like, up, growing up. Growing up. Sorry if my parents are watching this, but I doubt they are. So who did is. you feel like didn't respect who? I feel like my mom didn't really respect my dad because, well, she did, but her kids were her life, mm-hmm. right? She if she would do anything for her kids and then her spouse is like, yeah, I'm, I'm married. I'm happy. You know, everything's cool. But it, I, I, growing up, I always like, oh, I guess you're supposed to, you're supposed to put your kids first. That's, that's your number one. So in life. you wish that your mom had put your dad before you. Yes. Not that it like hurt my kids. I mean, not that we have a great relationship with all my family, but I think seeing that would have helped me in my relationship. You know, if we were all going to hang out and oh, Holly wants to do this, the kids want to do this. I'm like, oh, it's the kids, they're kids. <laughs> we got to do what the kids say because they're kids, you know? And so, uh-huh. um, and that's just kind of how it was. So. I'm curious, how have you felt with me? Have you felt like I've ever? No, I think you put me first. Always? Most of the time. Has there ever been a time where, which is interesting because typically <clears throat> you hear that the wife is the one that's putting their kids yeah. before the yeah. spouse or the husband, you know, the husband yeah. complains about that. And I don't know if, I don't, I don't know if your parents were that way. I, I feel like. Mine was <laughs> a little different because there was like, my mom had kids, my dad had kids yeah. and then blended they had kids family. together. Yeah. Blended family. And, and so there was a lot, definitely a lot of issues there, like yeah. trying to protect kids, yeah. you know, from the other spouse and. Yeah. Like, that's a, that's a hard, that's that a whole new situation. Yeah. It's hard. Like, but. Uh, but my dad hard. actually did. Like, actually, I would say, like, I grew up and my dad would always tell me that, like, the spouse comes before like, yeah. kids. I remember like, you saying that to I, me, yeah. like, at the first of our marriage. Yeah, he he would always teach me that, that, like, the spouse is supposed to come first, like, before your kids. And my mom, I don't think, felt that way. Yeah. Well, I think <laughs> it's just hard. also, my mom was kind of like a mama bear with her kids. Like, I yeah. think with the first divorce, she kind of felt like she had to, I don't know, it was like her and her girl. She had to protect them from, you know, all the bad things that were happening and stuff. But with your spouse, I think we've t- I've talked about this with Holly before and your kids. The love is totally different. There is unconditional love for your kids, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. The kid, Your kids could do anything and you're just like, hey, they're my son or daughter. Your spouse, it's, I don't want to say it's conditional, but it is kind of conditional. Like you can divorce your spouse. I mean, I guess there are people out there that have conditional love for their kids, but typically I think it's unconditional love for your kids. Your spouse is very conditional. And so I think it's but is hard that to supposed to change then. Like, it probably sh- is. Should we have unconditional love for our spouse? You probably should. You probably should. <laughs> I probably <laughs> should. Well, I feel like I, I went through that a few years ago where I got to the point where I had to tell you, like, Brian, I'm here no matter what. Yeah. 
Yeah, it doesn't you matter have. like what happens. I'm here. It doesn't matter how big of an idiot you are. <laughs> I may be here. I think that's what she said. I may be here. I think you have some conditions that you said that you would leave for. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I don't. I, the, but, the, but it is kind of like a spouse's love is kind of conditional. Yes. Like I feel like me and you are going to be together. We're not going anywhere. We've been through hell and back. But like if my kids put me through the same kind of hell that you put me through, I'd be like, ah, oh, it's just, you know, it's just, they're just being stupid, you know? <laughs> That's just kind of the way it is. I put you through (laughs) the same hell that I put you through. Yeah. So, but, but, but that's why I think it's easier to put your kids first because it's just unconditional. And you're like, okay, my kids need this. I'm doing this. My spouse needs this. Well, they can wait. Well, I think it probably has to do with like, in a way they're your creation. Like you created your kids. Your kids came from you. So I think that's probably why it's so. Maybe. I don't know. Was your, was your, was your love for your kids uh, unconditional right away? (laughs) I had to bring this up. Why are you smiling when you asked me that? Just wondering. (laughs) Well, first of all, I was a little baby when I had kids. Yeah, don't say that. You're going to make me. She wasn't a baby. She was a, she was of age. I was 20. I was was young. young. She was young. I was young and was not ready for a child no neither of us were though it was it's not like we planned it you were a little more ready well i was more mature than you you were four years older than me three and a half (laughs) three and a half four years february and april that's like two months difference that's four years okay I'm a little bit older than her. So, yes. Yeah, so the when I first had my first child, watching him, he was just like ooing and aahing and like totally just like in love with this baby and like holding him all night. And I was just like, what is this <laughs> that I have in my heart? I hate this human. <laughs> like, yeah. it was just, and I, I feel like it's also not only that I'm a little baby, but like your mom, you're all drugged up from all these, you know. Like back then I wasn't doing home births. I was doing hospital births with Mm. epidurals. So you've got all these drugs in your system and, and it's just like all new and you're up all night, you know, laboring. I was literally up all night. Give me a break. (laughs) I'm not saying anything. I'm just, I asked you a question. I feel like that's probably normal. Tell us if that's normal. Yeah, (laughs) I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's just like, I feel like it's just when you grow up thinking that, your first as a kid, you probably take advantage of that as well. Kids aren't stupid. Oh, and yeah. I think that they've used that against me mm-hmm. because oh, like growing totally. up, they're not stupid. And that you think you think kids are just these dumb little naive things, but they're super smart and they're super manipulative. <laughs> and so they would get so they would just like, oh, I know dad, I can get whatever I want out of him. So he just goes and they would pit us against each other. Not bad. I mean, our kids are actually really good kids, but, you know, you show your spouse that they're number one. You show your kids that your spouse is number one. Mm-hmm. Like I, I always say, like I always tell my kids, like if dad says no, then I back him up. Like I will support dad in his no, no matter what. Yeah. And so don't come and ask me. <laughs> Which they it's still not do. Be a yes. They still do. <laughs> they, they still, I think they do the opposite. They do that too. Like if I say no, they'll go ask you. <laughs> no, I just ask why. I think they know. I'm just like, why, Holly? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think they know that I, I will say So no. this comes, the, so that brings us to the second part. And this is what something we've talked about a lot is like, how do you put your spouse as number one if you are so different? <laughs> are you asking for help? <laughs> yes, I'm asking for help. If you and your spouse are complete opposites, how how do you make that work as the number one? How do we? You I mean, obviously, do we've done it. We've done it. <laughs> I, like we've or I've. <laughs> we we. You're still my number one. The kids know. It took some time. It took time because we always talk about it. It's Holly's big into the what are they called? I don't even know if I should say. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Horoscopes? Is that what it is? Oh, yeah. She's big into those. I'm not big into them. You're big into them. Well, she you said send that me know. more horoscope reels than I ever. Because the funny ones. I said <laughs> the funny you. ones. But so like if two people are completely opposite, like I, I feel like I think we because we have family, the, the spouse, the spouses are so similar. And you look at them, you're like, oh, my gosh, their marriage is so easy. Like mm-hmm. they have no problems. And they're just like, oh, yeah. You know, both of them want to sit at home on the weekends and watch TV and so Holly and I are literally complete opposites. Mm-hmm. Somebody will ask us and I'll say, they'll ask us if we have anything in common. I think the only thing we have in common is that we both really like pizza. <laughs> and it's really boiled down to that. 
We have so much more in common. We do. We might. Yeah. But we're very different. Like, we're very different. She's very adventurous and like, uh, she's a thrill seeker. Well, excuse me. Likes to travel. Yeah. But I think that how do you put him first is you just like support him in all their interests. Like, so, I, like, I know that you love sports. And so I support you in your love of sports and I'll go with you to a football game and I'll buy baseball tickets for you. She's and, trying to get me to go hiking with her. I can tell that's where <laughs> this is going. And I know you love movies. And so I say, hey, let's go watch a movie. Like what movie you want to watch? I know what movies you like. And so I'm like supporting you in your interest and I'm doing things that I wouldn't necessarily choose on my own to do for you. That's marriage. I do the same. <laughs> yeah. I just don't hike much. We went hiking. Well, then why are you asking, how do you put your spouse first? And how I don't do you know. support them? I'm not asking. Sorry. I didn't mean, <laughs> how do you do it? Because I've done it. But I'm just like, this can be hard sometimes. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It can be hard. Like, I just, it's, I mean, I like that we are different in so many ways. I really do. Like, I, even though I can, com, I complain about it a lot. I'm glad this is being recorded. Yeah, I, I do like it. I do like it for in certain aspects, right? Because it does make you grow as a person way faster than you normally would, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It just does because Holly is, excels at a bunch of things that I don't excel at. And then she just like pulls me along, like where I feel like if I had married somebody like me, I don't know if I would ever get anything done. <laughs> like I probably wouldn't, I really probably don't think I'd ever get anything done. But so I got somebody that's complete opposite like me. Holly takes initiative to get things going. I procrastinate. And so I think having a spouse that's opposite in a lot of ways is really good. If we like both like to hike, that would yeah. be, be so awesome. Mm -hmm. Or if we both like to go to baseball games, because we've gone to football games, baseball games, and Holly's just like. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm watching and this talking awful. to you. Yeah, I can tell she <laughs> just is in hell. And so like when I go hiking. Okay, but do I complain? I'm in but do I complain? No, you don't. Complain. And when we do go hiking, do you complain? I did not the last time. I didn't complain a single time. <laughs> I didn't. I made sure I didn't complain a single time. My kids all did. The kids complained endlessly. I didn't complain once. Because I made I made it was on Mother's Day. So I'm like, okay, Brian, just keep your stupid mouth shut. Don't complain. <laughs> You might get lucky later. I don't know. <laughs> but no, I just, I, I didn't complain that day because I made myself not to or not. I think how we work together in business, I think the opposites actually make us way better in business. Mm -hmm. I think it's the other stuff when you're not working and you're just trying to enjoy life. I think that's where it starts getting hard. So you're saying we struggle enjoying life together? Sometimes. That's why I said I don't, I feel like me and Holly, we had this conversation. I, I want to have fun. Mm -hmm. with my wife right mm -hmm. i just i just want to have more fun and i think our ideas of fun are totally different so we're trying to figure out we're trying to figure that out right now i think mm -hmm. right i'm having fun maybe well yeah, yeah. well that's why we do the podcast because this is like I, one well, thing that we actually think is fun it's true but i feel like i even if like i wouldn't choose to go to a football game or a baseball game or whatever like when i go with you i have fun i have fun when i go hiking with you too <laughs> or watch a movie like with you i have fun well, yeah, I have fun because I see you have it's like your kids, you know, when you go and you watch your kids. <laughs> I'm like your big kid. No, like when you, go and you <laughs> yeah. like watch your kids doing like enjoying life and having fun, like it brings you joy. Yeah. OK. So like being with you when you are having joy, like it brings me joy. Like I'm not saying that it's like, how do you do this when we're so opposite? I was just throwing that out there because I feel like we've done it. But I think we I feel like we fell into it. It wasn't like this planned like, okay, this is what we got to do. This is how we got to do this and this and this, and then it'll work out. I feel like we went through a lot of bumps and bruises to get here. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying is like, if we, if we had a plan, like, Hey, this is how you do it. It would have been a lot easier. Would it? I think so. Like, I feel like we just kind of stumbled our way into success with each other. You think we stumbled our way? Maybe well, you yeah, stumbled. I worked really hard. I'm not saying, yeah, I'm not saying you didn't work hard, but I'm just saying <laughs> if we had a plan or if we knew how to do it, it wouldn't have been so rough. I had a lot, I feel like I had a lot of plans. I think maybe well, you were like not having plans. It's because like your plans was all. I was like trying to figure it out. Yeah, it's because your plans were different than mine. <laughs> I think we figured it out. But yeah, I, th I just thought that was interesting. I don't know. I thought it was an interesting topic. Sorry if you didn't find it interesting. <laughs> I think it's just because I struggled with it for so long. So let us know if you guys yeah. struggle with that, like putting your partner or your spouse before your children. Yep. And if that's a struggle or who struggles with it in your marriage or if any of you struggle, 
once again, comments, questions, let us know. And we'll see you next time. See Thanks you. for watching. Yeah, bye. bye.